Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. I thank the Honourable Member for the question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, construction of building plays a key role in the socio-economic development of any country. It is through these uh, construction activities we are able to put up the critical infrastructure like roads, bridges, ports and other basic amenities for our people. And it contributes greatly in our economic growth and one that is investment-led. So my response to this question will actually add to the response given by Honorable Attorney General on the investments. Mr. Speaker, sir, the first half of 2019 recorded 612 applications worth around $363.7 million. Bulk of the activity, or 84%, was for residential development, followed by commercial and industrial at 12%, and tourism-related projects at 4%. Highest number of applications was received from the Western Division, followed by Central Division and the Northern Division. Mr. Speaker, sir, some major developments were recorded in the second quarter, which have not commenced, but projects were approved, includes the Tanoa Group developments at Duvu Singatoka and at Watualevu Nendi. This will be in excess of $200 million. Mr. Speaker, sir, looking at the past, the total number of building permit applications approved in 2017 was 1,618 with a monetary value of $353 million. In 2018, this increased to 1,725 applications worth $370 million. 48% of this was received for the Western Division, followed by 37% from the Central Division and 15% from the North. Mr. Speaker, sir, the beginning of 2019 brought major developments with a higher value and every year we record an overall increase by December in the construction of residential dwellings as well as commercial and industrial projects. To illustrate this, for the first quarter of 2019, completion certificates for residential dwellings accounted for $100 million, while for commercial and industrial building accounted for $150 a million dollars. So in total, the, uh, the value of uh, the completion certificate uh, for the first quarter of 2019 was $251 million. These figures indicate that there are significant investments being made in the housing sector. The growth in the construction industry has seen more job creation over the years. However, there is shortage of skilled, work, uh, skilled workers in the industry, resulting in the hiring of skilled workers from abroad, which also delays the construction of some of the projects. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism has reviewed and put in place new building material standards for roofing and other materials and is working on the review of the reinforcement of steel standards and wind loads for housing. Besides that, my ministry is also working with the World Bank Group in formulating the guidelines for the single-story houses because after the cyclone Winston, um, there was a major devastation and we believe that it was very important for us to put in uh, some standards for the construction of single-story uh, single, uh, houses as well as schools. Mr. Speaker, sir, thank you for giving me this opportunity to respond to the question.